Hey everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're on a 4730 John Deere sprayer with the Kajali Jowl Test Unit. And I've already gone through and done a system scan here. These are all the different modules it's picked up on. First thing I want to show you up top up here is a button called Connector. If you click this, this will actually pull up the data link location in the machine and give you a choice of a couple of different connectors here. We are using this JDC27. M3 which is actually your green 9 pin. We're going to click connect. I'm going to head fast forwarded through that so we don't have to wait a minute here to connect but first thing system identification just going to give you a little information on the engine. We want to go into read fault codes. There's no check engine light on this machine so we're not going to have anything in here nor any in memory but the tool has some built-in service information. I'm going to go through we'll look at a little bit of this. Most of this is going to be some torque specifications and then under the system components here let me click check this is actually going to give you some different pinouts here on your sensors and I'll go through a couple so you can look at them the other thing down here on the bottom left is troubleshooting by symptom <coughs> this is actually going to give it to you in a step-by-step -step format here and some of your codes as well will be set up the same way if you have a fault code in your ECM. But that does come at an extra cost. Now if you purchase through diesel laptops, we have two programs. First, DTC Solutions Off Highway. I've already pulled up a manufacturer and engine type here. But you would find your SPN, click it, and this is going to give you some information about the code. Maybe what calls that code to set, and then of course some possible causes for repairs there. And we'll go back to the diagnostics menu and I'll just check mark here and we'll go through some of the other parts of the tool. First thing, ECU data. This is going to be very similar to what pops up under that system identification but a little more in depth, some serial numbers and part numbers to go along with that. Check mark and we do have an engine load profile there if you wanted to view that to see how long it had been at different RPM ranges. Parameters tab, most importantly your injector coding in there. Under monitoring, this is where we can come in here and we can look at the live data on the engine. It gives you 93 different values you can look at. You can narrow that down if you need to. For the video's sake, I just checked all here. But let me scroll through. You can take a look at some of these. And of course, there's 12 pages, but we'll back out. And the system display. This is going to be some of your same parameters here. It just puts it in a picture format. It's kind of a flow chart. This is really useful if you're not familiar with that particular system on the machine. Under your actuate components, here's where you can test your VGT and EGR valve. And system checks are going to be more common. Your cylinder cutouts, performance test, and then calibrations for your EGR and VGT. We'll disconnect from this module and we'll go into a couple more. We'll go into the hydraulics here. We'll click accept and oh, yeah, let me click connect and okay. Everything is going to be set up the same way. So of course we can read our fault codes. We can come in here, display parameters on that system, what the current ones are, or we can go down here to monitoring and actually view our live data. New live data, there's 75 here. And we'll go through a few pages of these too. Let me populate as it loads up here so it does take just a second per page. Okay, and we'll go ahead and check mark and go back out of here and back up one more time. And I want to disconnect and go into one more here. We'll go into the steering. The steering, we can go in here, we could read faults, clear faults, system data for ECU data. And let's actually go in here and display the parameters. These are the current settings that are in here now. Once this processes, okay. And here's your current values stored in there. We'll X back out and go into monitoring for our live data. Or we could go down to calibration if we needed to calibrate here. Alright, overall I'd say pretty good coverage of this tool. Thanks for watching.